good morning. It is Sunday, June 28th. Got up, got dressed and all ready for the day, heading out. Uh, even a little bit earlier than our early service to first go to prayer group and then church from there. Oh, something is my immediate response well absolutely of course I would love Lord yes but then those challenging things in life what what happens when I don't understand what he wants me to do hmm. I don't like what he wants me to do I don't appreciate what he's asking me to do it makes no sense to me has anybody in life ever had the Lord speak to you ask you to do something that makes no sense to you. Anybody? There's 19 people. Okay. There's a lot more hands than that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him. And He will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. And fear the Lord and shun evil. It's such a beautiful scripture until I don't understand. <laughs> it's such a beautiful, powerful scripture until it runs across current to what I want. And I got out of church. Tom's message was on obedience and really just listening to God even when we don't understand why he's directing us as he is, which can be a challenge, but important. Of course, uh, Mom and Mike were busy after church. Um, so I just uh, picked up some Chipotle, brought it home. That always makes for a delicious lunch. And it sounds like Mike is headed over to get rid of these shelves finally. I'd cleared out some space in there yesterday. I'm starting to think of ways that I can clear other things, but yeah, definitely trying to clear up some space. All right. Uh, Salvation Army has the shelves now, out of my hair. <laughs> and it's nice to have my shelves all visible, a little extra space in here. And my brain says, hey, I know how to fix that. And I'm like, brain, no, I said it's nice. You don't need to fix nice. It's like, but I can fix it. So of course that's what I'm going to do. And it's what I need to do. Might as well just get it over with. At these... Let's build that other shelf. And I feel like that was a lot easier to build than the billies. And to some extent, it might have been, because like there wasn't a back to put on, and that's a big ordeal with the billies and such. Um, and it's, it's, of course, obviously smaller in comparison, and so it's easier to maneuver around. But also, part of me is like, you don't know if it's really easier it's still just sitting over here on the side. It's not mounted to the wall yet. And on the billies, that's, that's certainly one of the more challenging parts, and I believe it will be on this as well, as it is going on top of this entertainment center here. Uh, it's basically, it's replacing these four cubbies here and turning it into nine cubbies. Eh? More storage space. Um, I'm thinking I should still end up with a little room on the top for some of these random boxes if I want. Um, I think this box is empty and can just go away. Uh, a lot of these are empty boxes like that are for shipping that I don't really need sitting around. Um, I do want to keep this box. It's the box my um, Google device came in. But that doesn't need to be here. That can be stuffed away in the closet if need be. Uh, I won't know until I put it up there. Um, a bunch of this stuff is just junk that got set here temporarily. Obviously stuff in these cubbies can equally go in the cubbies over there. This box will not fit. But that's a box of magic cards. And I think my magic card boxes over here are like the perfect size to fit three of them in a cubby. And if that's the case, I'll probably fill two cubbies with them. I can get rid of I can basically buy one more of those boxes get rid of this box here 
um, and I should be able to make it work. And uh, and if that's the case, that would get the magic cards out of the kitchen pantry. I have some future plans with the kitchen because I'm not a huge fan of the fact that I got my mixer over there, my fryer up there, neither of which I've ever used, and just too much clutter over here. Uh, there's stuff where I'm like, I got empty space at the back here that I never use. I'm like, let's move some stuff I never use back. That's future plans. But that is stuff I'm like, I want to do some stuff in the kitchen. As far as making things better and more accessible. Anyways, all that said, it's going above this entertainment center. Now, I could just take all that down, put it on the floor, put it up and put it up there. That's why. Come on, Adam, what you waiting for? I'm trying to make a decision. I plan to have a love seat more or less where I'm sitting right now. And I, I look over the side when I'm looking at my TV, but with it being a love seat, there will also be a seat that's basically right here, which is even more looking off to the side. Now, obviously, I want my TV easily visible from my bed, number one. But I also like to be here. And I'm thinking, if I take this entertainment center and I put it against that wall, and I take the desk and I scoot it over, and then I put that hutch over there, over here, then if I switch this cubby thing to the other side of the TV, and the, desk, uh, the dresser will then have moved over, the TV will be basically in the exact same spot. But, I could then put, leave the cubby on the same side that it currently is on, which will then be on the side of the entertainment center, not the side of the hutch. And it will move over by the amount of distance of the little cabinet. Which means, uh, and, and first off, I'm also, I'm going to switch that TV at some point with the one in here. I'm just waiting for a convenient time to do so. If I did all this, that would be a such time. Um, anyways, as I was saying, if I moved all that as such, I could, therefore, have the TV in the exact same spot. So if I don't like it, then all I have to do is worry about moving that one box. And if I do like it, then I can move the TV about a little over a foot further this way. I should still be able to see it from laying in bed and a little better view from the love seat. And I want to decide that before I put this hutch up because the hutch gets screwed into the wall. It's just a lot of work. So I'm kind of trying to decide. I should probably do it because as I said, it, I, there's no real risk. It's just gain. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get started. Probably won't get started moving it today, but I think that this is now built and sitting off to the side here, uh, which already, it takes up less space than those other two shelves did, of course. For one, there's nothing over here in the way, and also, I at least get to see my display of movie boxes. That's nice. I, I enjoy that. I don't know. And I mean, I might start in that I might start taking down boxes and just stashing them in this thing temporarily. Um, which, of course, is going to be a big part of what I have to do to move it. If I didn't think that I had a huge amount of time left on that painting, I'd try and finish the painting because then I could clear up a table. But I have so much work left to do on that. I don't really know what I'm going to get done. But I got that at least built, which means I can throw out the packaging from building it. And I am, I guess to say, all this long conversation to say, I am thinking about making changes around the place to try and make things function better, more organized, nicer. I'm working on it. So after editing a vlog, which I still need to upload, I decided, maybe, 
maybe just start a little bit of the work. You know, I've gotten some spaces cleared. I was like, well, I can move some stuff over there. And so things got kind of cleared. Okay, so I haven't actually moved any of the things that I'm really moving. Um, but the tables are gone. All the books on there are gone. All the stuff around and in these is gone. And it's all behind me. Uh, a lot of stuff is actually on this shelf. I'm like, well, I have an empty shelf. I can just pile stuff into it you know, while I move the furniture. So into and on it. Uh, there's that table. There's the other table in there. Um, to some extent, I'm like, okay, this here is... I mean, I guess it's taller. But I had boxes sticking out to here until a couple days ago. And if I get that couch... It will fill up more space than this, slightly. You know, it will stick out about here. Um, now the big difference is I like to sit into that area while I watch uh, my YouTubes. And I can't do it while this is going on. Whereas once I have the couch, I will sit on the couch to eat instead of sitting in this chair. That's, that's basically going to be the goal. His, his couch will be couch will be comfy place to sit and have foods. Sounds good to me. Um, and right now my brain says, I mean, I could move things. Um, I could. But I don't know if I want to. Because of cables. One of the things that I really, if I'm going to go through and move all this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to switch this TV for the one in there that I like better. Definitely. I am going to run my cables so that the power cable for my TV does not go in front of my desk. I did that temporarily when I moved in because I knew I was going to have to switch the two TVs a couple of times. Uh, while, while getting everything set up. So instead of running it behind it, I just ran it out front. But it never got fixed. <laughs> and it's, it's the wrong TV right now anyways. So there's that. Um, behind this whole mess, and the reason this mess stays there, is the router. So obviously that is going to have to be moved over there, and I run a physical cable to my work computer. So I'll have to make sure that that runs, which is, I mean, it's... It's like a 40 or 50 foot long cable that's coiled up, so I have plenty of slack. I can do it. I just have to, you know, properly run the cable. Um, and tidy things up with all that, so, so that'll have to be done. Uh, I am hoping that the HDMI cable that is attached to this is long enough that when the TV is a little further over, it will properly run all the way to the far corner. I don't know if it is. I really don't. So that might be an issue. I mean, it would be an issue that would be solved by buying a longer HDMI cable. But, I mean, it, it could at least still be a temporary issue. And one of the things I've basically decided to do... Let's get rid of this. My last CRT. I had three of them at one point. But right now, I have three modern TVs, so it's fine. I, I no longer need it. I hadn't turned it on for probably the last couple of years that I lived at my mom's. I have not turned it on, I think, at all since I've moved in here. I don't even know if I have it plugged in. Yeah, I do not even have it plugged in. But I'm going to get rid of it. I looked it up. Locally, we can recycle them for like 15 bucks. Uh, I cannot do it on Sundays. Or I actually probably would have made that something I did today. Because that would have made a big difference in the way I feel about things. But I'm, I'm trying to think. I really, I like these a lot. <laughs> I've had them for 15 plus years. Mom picked them up cheap at a garage sale. Um... They have little pegs that hold them on top of each other, and those pegs were missing, so I uh, took some metal snips and I snipped up uh, nails 
to work in place of it. Um, I've had times where I've had them all four stacked on top of each other, which actually maybe I should consider that somewhere. But yeah, so the goal will be to soon move the furniture. I've already made progress towards it. And keeping an eye on the clock, I decided not to move the furniture this evening. I, um, of course I'll be play gaming with my buddies tomorrow night, but I think I have short day on Tuesday. And I'm like, that would be a good day, because just with moving around cables and such, I'm like... I don't want to get in the middle. Well, I can't risk getting in the middle of it, because part of those cables are the internet. And I need that to be working tomorrow morning for work. <laughs> so that that's just, that's stress. I don't want to risk screwing myself up for that. Uh, that would be irresponsible. So, I was like, I'll just put it off. I will have stuff in the way for a couple of days. And that'll be fine. But, um, it's late. I'm ahead to bed. Thank you for joining me, and join me as my journey continues.